they're both relatively common uh, Egyptian funerary texts. They were included um, with the deceased to help them in the afterlife. Again, it had hymns, sometimes spells, um, a variety of different things to help them move through the afterlife. And um, the Book of Breathing, uh, it, it comes from the word sensin. It's a translation that supposedly means breathing. It sometimes is called the breathing permit or uh, the sense and text, or, or a variety of different names. But uh, um, we don't, we call the papyri that we have the sense and text, but it's not like most sense and texts that we're familiar with, even though there are a number of similarities. So from the fragments that we now uh, own that Joseph Smith had, they represent largely two different kinds of texts. One is the, what we call the Book of Breathings, uh, and the other is the Book of the Dead. Both of these are funerary documents for Egyptians. These are, are typical for their time period, uh, and the idea was that they would contain knowledge and spells that would help the deceased in the afterlife get where they want to go, be protected from evil forces, things as simple as this is how I avoid getting bitten by a snake in the afterlife, this is how I avoid having my head chopped off in the afterlife. Sometimes the portions of them are maps to tell you where you get to go and spells that are designed to, to bring you back to life or to help you breathe again. That's part of why we get the idea that it's a book of breathings. Uh, it's it's a, to give you the breath of life again that you may be resurrected and live in the hereafter.